Are you ready for cinematic multimedia? It's Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster, starring Tim Curry. Wake up! It's time to meet your maker, talking about Tim Curry, who plays Dr. Frankenstein. And he's our maker because we're Frankenstein's monster in this game. That's what it's about. It's about we're the creature who is awakening. And I don't know anything else beyond that. All I know, it's like a puzzle game where Tim Curry is going to be FMVing it up as Doc Frankenstein. This game... We're playing it on Windows 3.1. Um, oddly enough, this seems like it also came out on the Saturn. That seems like an odd choice. Like, take this FMV game that came out on Windows 3.1 two years ago and put it on the Saturn. Because it can't, Saturn PC came, version came out in 95, Saturn came version came out in 97. I, I, seems like an odd choice to put it on that system, but it was. It was there. But we're playing the win version. Win 3-1. So, let's get started with this. The fanfare announces our entry into Windows 3.1. And let us double-click on FRANKENSTEIN in all caps to get going with this. Gabrielle? Gabrielle? Where are you? I don't want to remember this. Gabrielle! Come back! Who's calling at this hour? I'm sorry, Philip, but you are under arrest for the murder of your daughter, Gabrielle. But, but I... Just come along. Now! For the heinous crime of murder! Your own daughter! I sentence you to hang by the neck until dead! May God have mercy on your soul! I'm innocent! Go ahead and let him hang! Dear God! He's alive. Alive! I... I have created life. There. Yeah. That will make you feel better. A toast. In celebration. I have made a man. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein, you shouldn't share needles. It's very unsanitary. All right, so we took a little celebratory uh, injection, whatever it was. It's going to make us feel better. All right, here's my cursor. I can click on things. That's one hand. Let's try the other. My hand. It's... Good God. It's the hand of a woman. What has this vile bastard done to me? It's so soft and dainty. Not like my manly right hand. We have been put together from other body parts. So the story before this seemed to say that we were framed for the murder of our daughter and we were hung because of it. And I guess Dr. Frank... Uh, got our corpse and used it as the main one to just put other pieces onto it so we became the creature. You can stand and you're walking. No residual dizziness. Excellent. Can you hear me? Anything? Perhaps you can read lips. N no, no! You must be able to hear. Perhaps the cat's got your tongue. 
You've no idea how close to the truth that statement is. I, I remember I was hung, put to death, and now, in a laboratory? I'm an experiment. <laughs> of course, how fitting. This place thick with evil. This mad doctor. Why is that fitting? Well, it looks like that we figured it out pretty quick. Oh no, we're an mad science experiment. Also, what was that line from the doctor that the cat, the cat got our tongue? Did he feed our tongue to his cat? As I hope not. We'll need that to talk. All right, we can look around and can we interact with anything? So you can see what kind of game this is. Oh, is he leaving? I hear him walking away. Oh, there he is. Created life, proving once again what I have always known to be true. Modesty be damned! I am a genius! <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna duck right behind that. So, you, you assuming that we can, we can understand you, because you weren't sure about that before. But, I mean, considering how much he's bragging to us, I, I guess he's figured out that we can understand what he's saying. So you can see what kind of game this is. Uh, Pre-rendered images that we look around on. Do I know this man? He looks so familiar. And we can click on him and interact sometimes. Ooh, Black Death of Bacillus discovered. Judge Rothenbush blaming me for the disappearance of children from other villages? That lying coward. Ah, uh, that's on the third column here. The Rothenbush Mansion will be the site of a gala party on Saturday to celebrate the conviction and execution of murder of Philip Warren. I guess that's us. Following his arrest for the kidnapping and murder of his own daughter, a diligent investigation uncovered gruesome proof linking Warren to recent disappearances of children from neighboring villages. After handing down the death sentence, Judge Rothenbush explained, be assured beyond a shadow of a doubt that Philip Warren is guilty of this unspeakable crimes against humanity. He went on to say that in order to celebrate the lifting of this veil of fear from our community, he will throw open the doors of his mansion to all. We were buried in a pauper's graveyard. Alright, so we were framed for many murders and kidnappings. Do we have to clear our name? Or, I mean, since we're dead, would it matter? Hello. <laughs> the servants have set up a room for you on the lower level. Please make yourself at home. A word of caution. Though you have had a serious concussion, to say the least, if you were to fall asleep, well, it would probably be <laughs> fatal. Of course, dying itself is not a problem, but the hemorrhaging, it could cause more damage to your brain. Would you call it a concussion? Because I, th I don't think that's the same thing as dying for who knows how many days we were dead. I, I mean, I guess our brain is in really good condition considering. All right. So you know how these games go. We it looks like a vastly improved version of that Russian scientist Tesla's lightning coil. A Tesla coil? Can we turn it on? Nothing happened. Maybe we have to activate it or something. Why would we want to activate it, though? I assume that this was the thing... This had to do with the um, machinery in order to, that was used to bring us to life. Because you need electricity, right? So it's probably part of that. That opening must lead somewhere. What am I looking at? Am I looking down? Like this is a window with like bars that were bent outward, I guess. I think that's what I'm looking at. Maybe I have to get like a rope or something to go down. Doesn't seem like I can do anything here. Is the same one? That is the same one. If only there was a way to climb down there. So, well, yeah, like I need a rope or something, right? 
All right. I, oh, there's like, well, I don't know if I can use this rope, but what's this right here? No, I can't click on that. It's like, what is that? It's like a upside down bird. I mean, I, it doesn't seem like I can actually click on it. There it is. There's like another perspective of it. I guess not. I guess it's nothing. What's all, what's all this here? Okay, here's like a pulley. can put these on for reasons. Perhaps I should leave this here. All right. I can pull that up. Don't know why I'm doing it yet. I'm sure it'll come... I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, goes on that, rolls down there. And it fell. And knocked this one down. And I can attach a rope to that? Can I, like, throw it over here? Okay, there we go. That that was actually surprisingly intuitive for one, for one of these kinds of puzzles. Anything here? I can go back out. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess we're just... Oh, no, here's a thing. Oh, no, the gears! They're falling all over the place. Why are they falling like that? I can't seem to do anything right now. Just have to wait for that to finish. Okay. Should I put these back together? Well, I'm clicking on this, but nothing uh, but nothing was happening. Okay, I guess that's all it is. All right, never mind. Okay, they're just staying there now. Just like a little bit, a little bit of puzzle, just to you know interrupt the flow of things. Just give you a little extra thing to do. Right now, we don't really have an objective, do we? We're just oh, like a secret passage. We're just exploring the castle. Tim Curry has not told us that he wants us to do anything. So tired. Must. Keep exploring. Can't sleep, or I may never wake. Yeah, he, he was pretty clear. Don't fall asleep. It's dangerous for you to fall asleep. Right, so we're outside. What a nice, nice sunset it is. If I really am alive, and this isn't the afterlife, then maybe I could clear my name. Yeah, I don't know if there's really a point to doing that now. I could probably get into that room by climbing out onto that limb, through to that window. Probably. Do we? Is there a reason we want to do that? There's like a rope. But if I were stitched together and brought back from the dead, am I truly alive? Oh man, these are getting deep into it. Deep in philosophical questions about the nature of life. Ooh, no. Hmm. Maybe if I had some way to secure the rope to the tree. I need, should I get like a grappling hook or something? Hmm. Four, it says. Kind of looks like planets orbiting, but what is the significance? Hmm. No. All right, I'll keep my eyes out for something to secure to the tree so I can climb up it to get to that window for reasons. Again, we don't really have an objective or anything here. Can I click on this? Doesn't seem like it. 
right now we're just kind of mad that we were framed and put to death. And yeah, it's reasonable that we were ang that we're angry about that. And we're considering whether or not we're actually dead or alive. And the possibility of clearing our name, but... I don't, we don't have anything more immediate to do at the time, at the period, at this point in time. We're just looking around, just trying to figure out what we should be doing. Maybe we'll run into uh, the doc again. Maybe he can tell us something a bit more about our current situation. Oh, we're back here. Well, we finally found a locked door. I was about to say that a lot of the doors... Yeah, this is the secret passage. A lot of the doors have just been open. Haven't really been a whole lot of locked doors so far. So we basically... Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein's basically given us the run of the place. Doesn't seem to be especially concerned about where we might go or what we might find. Locked. Okay, now these doors are locked. So maybe there's something here that the doctor might not want us to find then. Can't click on this. Why does the doctor need all these secret passages? I mean, aside from secret passages being cool, so of course you want the place you live in to have tons of them. But aside from that, I mean. Uh, these all just kind of look like the same graphic, don't they? Oh no, the steam! I cannot go through. What about this valve? No, it's blocking me. Oh, the steam against my dead skin. It hurts too much. Well, I guess it's kind of linear so far. Even though there are a lot of screens to click on, it looks like there's only the one path. Well, there's that. We could try going down here. There's a ladder. Go up the ladder. Even though the images look different, look the same, I mean, uh, this is a different floor. Guess we can't go any further. It just seems like to be the one path. Doesn't seem like there's really anywhere else to go here. Okay, let's take... Okay, I guess we can't go up the ladder again. We can only go down. Doesn't seem like you can further keep going up. I guess that makes things a little bit simpler. As it is, there's just nothing for us to do down here. Because we got to the steam and it was too much for us. If we find some way to withstand the steam... Then we could go there, but as it is, just uh, I guess it's I guess we can't do it. Locked. Oh, we found the store. The, the, um, the pantry. But Monster, Monster is hungry. Monster wants to eat. Why, 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 why can Monster not eat? Hold on. 
Dear Victor, thank you for your hospitality and the delicious me- meal. As usual, I had a wonderful time. I enjoy eating Perrier's cooking as much as I love seeing your newest discoveries. Thank you for allowing me to use your library for my own research. I appreciate it very much. You are very kind. V- Victor, sincerely, Sarah, Stra- Sarah Strauss. Okay, I guess Victor was entertaining company. But if that's the case, why? Like, why? If this is used currently why is there like cobwebs on this i know it's a thing in horror games like you have everything be dirty and derelict but this is like this place is actively being used can't look through that doesn't seem like i can click on anything here which is weird because there's a bunch of stuff here i guess there is no meat for us no food for the creature Nothing, I guess there's nothing to click on. That seems weird. Because there's a bunch of stuff in here, but nothing that we can actually click on. All right. Uh, can I click on this torch? No. Locked. Dr. Frankenstein's castle sure is very mazy, isn't it? Well, of course, we have been here. Maybe we should go back through here. Because I don't think we were quite done exploring everything else around. Yeah, there's something new there. If I steal the parts to do my own experiment, I could conduct it here away from the doctor and prove once and for all if Energy L is real, or if I'm dead, trapped forever in this hell. I'm sorry? Okay, we want to perform our own experiments away from the dock, so we could do it here. Uh, what did he say he wanted to prove is real? He wanted to prove something was actually real, which would prove that we're alive and not truly dead. All right, we don't have anything right now. I guess that's our objective? That's our objective right now? Conduct our experiment to determine- This room reeks of human waste. Yeah, that looks like just like a torn apart body. So I guess our overarching goal is to discover the nature of our existence. Are we truly alive? Oh, right, right, yeah. That's how we got here, because we went out through this. All right. Well, there was there were certainly things that we didn't look at yet before we did that. Hmm. Why would you store a letter in a crate? After receiving the last letter from Wilhelm Rodigan... I believe, as does he, that his research into X-rays further proves my own theories on Energy L. Although vague in describing his methods, he is deliberate, definitely using electricity to generate these new X-ray energy waves. He explained his vacuum tube device and the effects of the cathode that doped with barium platinocyanide, something like that. All right, so Energy L is what I guess we were talking about. We need to prove that Energy L is real, because if it is, that means we're actually alive? Is that what that is? Yep. Let's get away from that. But what would we need to conduct our own experiments? Nothing else around here. We have access to this Tesla coil, but there's nothing we can do with that for right now. Maybe some other time we'll be able to use the Tesla coil. Hello. I just hope, Philip, that you turn out better than the last experiment. The flesh grew so uncontrollably thick and twisted like pork, but you look confused. Actually, you look dazed, but 
Dazed is good. It's still early for you, Philip. Just kind of like how he just ducks in and out like that. All right, so he. Hopefully, we don't turn into pork butt. I'm hoping that as well, Doctor. I'm hoping I. I'm hoping I make you proud. Okay, we can open this up. Is this a dumb waiter? Looks like it. Can't do anything with it though. Maybe we can find where it goes and bring it up or carry something on it at some point. Clicking around on the screen, seeing what we can find. As you see on this board, the energy spectrum contains a narrow band of energy which is the essence of life, energy L. It interacts with cells and tissue in ways I cannot yet explain, but you are evidence of its remarkable powers. I see. Energy L is the essence of life. We must discover the true nature of energy L to determine the true nature of life. You can see it right there. Energy L. It's right there. A big circle around it. You got sound waves, electricity, air waves, directional waves, heat, light, and energy L. Energy L's you can also see here on um, this this sort of sine wave. You got light, light, you got sunlight, and then energy L's right here, and then X rays are down here. It's all very fascinating. Here's a table of elements. I have uncovered a new material, an undiscovered element, number eighty six on this periodic table. I call it lifestone. I don't know if that name really goes into the doesn't really match the naming scheme of many of these other elements. Like a lot of these other elements, they end with the suffix eum, and lifestone just doesn't fit with that. I like I was expecting you to call it Frankensteinium, but you didn't call it that. Yeah, they, we already looked at this. What about these books? How many secret passages do you need, Doctor? Can't seem to click on anything, though. What about the skeleton? No? Nothing? Alright. Alright, there's a secret passage that doesn't even do anything. Alright, that's the dumb waiter. No need that right now. Alright, we've looked kind of all around. I think there was, like, one door that I passed. And there's a ladder going up. We could try the... Oh, hello. I have a theory. No, it is more. Energy moves, it flows like waves, mixing, shaping, affecting matter. Visible light is a particular energy wave, as is sound, electricity, and heat. Ergo, life itself is also an energy wave, a specific vibration. It is that simple. The mystery of life exposed. Mm, I see. All we need, if only we could harness this particular energy wave, the energy wave of life. What could we do with that? And if life is an energy wave, then does that mean that death is also an energy wave? I wonder if that's how it works. Looks like we're on a tower. Two. Well, we saw another one of these before. On the tree, it said four. This one's two. Can't wait to find out what puzzle this represents. Okay, we can send that. Send out the kite. It's going to attract the lightning bolt, is I believe what that did. Can I? I don't think I can interact with that. I can just, I can just see what it says. And I can bring it back in. Well, we, we did say that we wanted to conduct our own experiment. So, I wonder if we could harness the power of lightning ourselves with this kite to try to bring someone back to life ourselves. Could that be something we could do? I uh, don't know if there's anything we can click on here. All right, I guess we'll just keep that in mind. Oh. 
Well, I have a rope. That's not a rope. It's like a string. Perhaps I should leave this here. Okay, so I don't take it with me. Oh, yes. That is the reason you and I are having this conversation, Philip. The sole reason is because of Energy L. Well, to be specific, Energy L and the Lifestone Crystal, of course. Now, gently put it back on this shelf. Obviously, there's more to this crystal than the doctor wants me to know. I'll examine it again later, when he is more deeply into his work. Okay, so this... <laughs> like how he just looks back at us. So this is the Lifestone. <laughs> this is the Lifestone, with which is the core of the doctor's experiment. So if we want to try to bring someone to life, we need to use this. Although, uh, severely limited, this design proves the Lifestone Crystal is capable of producing spontaneous life. Unfortunately, the amount of voltage required to make the crystal glow is directly proportional to its size and density. The largest crystal I've been able to use has been 18 centimeters long. Thus, I have been unable to reanimate anything larger than the rats, a process now perfected. So he was able to use a 16-volt battery with this stone to bring rats back to life. He must have used something much larger for a human being, then. Yeah? Yeah, I was able to take it. Okay, I could put it here. What do I do with this? Perhaps I should leave this here. So whatever this string is, I can't bring it off this screen. So maybe I... Perhaps I should leave this here. I, I took your crystal. Alright, maybe I'll just leave the crystal here. Maybe I find more other... Maybe I find other things. Like if I find a battery, maybe I can bring it here. Oh, I can interact with those levers. Unholy energies crackle from these diabolical contraptions. Surely they could not be of earthly origin. These unholy energies, otherwise known as electricity, they must be from the depths of the inferno. <laughs> Energy, matter, life, everything we see, feel, touch, hear, taste, is one of two things, mass or energy. Simple, yes? Yes. I don't know if I can do anything with this or just enjoy the electricity show. He's just continuing to sit there. Can I do anything with the center of the room? Doesn't look like it. All right, is there anything else we can do in this room? I don't know if there is. I was able to take the life stone and put it there, and there's wire or like string or something like that that we could use here if I could find something else to put. Oh, what's this? Combining parts from different types of animals is proving difficult and discouraging. All but three of my many experiments have ceased to live. The subjects created from single or several animals of the same species have died either from hunger or asphyxiation. I believe they could no longer continue to sustain life due to brain damage. My initial work in rat slash frog, fish slash kitten, and other interesting combinations had produced equally slash disappointing results. These specimens are quickly overtaken by infection, reverting within days to festering pus sacs. So it says here, fur grows here after 12 days on the fishtail. Uh, car carbolized? Spine and blood vessels. Fur is replaced by scales after seven days. Can I do anything with that corner? Maybe not. If I only had a bag of some kind... Some way to carry the things I need to conduct my own experiment. 
Mmm, so I need to find a bag in order to get an inventory. I don't have an inventory yet, but if I can find a bag, then maybe I can take things with me. It only makes sense. I presume that we're naked. That we're naked and we don't have any pockets is probably what it is. Probably what the deal is. All right, so I think that we've now pretty thoroughly looked around here. Ah, these are broken, so I can't go further down. All right, so we have access to the life stone. What can we do with that? We have this Tesla coil. We also have access to the kite upstairs. Was there anything else here? No. Looks like there's like a paper underneath, but I guess we can't look at that paper. The fun part about these games, of course, is clicking everywhere on every screen just to make sure that you didn't miss anything. We already tried this, and we know that doing this doesn't do anything. At least it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Maybe it's doing something somewhere else, but as far as I can tell, nothing's happening. And so the only way out of here was this door. Which led to here. And we looked around, and then there was really nothing... Can we look at those crates? Is there anything there? I don't think there's anything... We can look at these crates. Does not seem like it. So we looked around, and we could not find anything. Until we eventually found that we could use the contraption here to knock down this stone bird and connect a rope to it so we could climb down this and gain access to the rest of the castle through here. And it didn't, it didn't seem like there was many way, there were many ways we could go, at least at this point. It was pretty... pretty linear. I can't go through that door. I wonder if I should take the life stone and bring it here, but I don't know if there would be, really be a purpose to doing that because I don't have anything else to work with. I need to find a bag so I can carry stuff around with me. Not having a bag is kind of a problem. All right, so that goes back. Yeah, we can only go up that. Only go back up. These other walls don't work. This is the only one that does. So now begins the process of just clicking on everything. Did I really... Did I, I think I went upstairs up here, but did I really try to look around everywhere? Let's try going up some stairs. So if I'm at the top here... I think I came out through this door. I do remember doing that. So, a big problem that I'm seeing is that many of the hallways are quite mazy. But we haven't been here, though. Since everything's so mazy, it's a little difficult to know where I have and have not been. Locked. I might just have to draw maps. Locked. It wouldn't be surprising f for a game from this era to expect you to draw maps. So that just might be what I need to do to... Uh, uh, what's that up there? Can I look at it? It doesn't seem like it. Can't interact with that. Can't look up. So even though it looked like there was something up there, I guess it's not... Some yeah, that? I can't click on it. But it looks like there's like a great up there but mm, maybe it maybe it's nothing maybe it's nothing oh what's this 
November 30th, 1879, I delivered the goods to your puppet researcher. If only he knew the truth. Please keep me in mind for my future deliveries. Yours truly, Vladimir. Hmm, the goods, huh? Dear Dr. Frankenstein, I am writing to you in the strictest confidence. I agree with you that Judge Rothenbush is a vile and despicable man. Unfortunately, we cannot afford to lose his favor and influence. It is already a tense situation, and our hands are bound. Do nothing to incur his wrath. The judge is an old man, and we can wait him out. We both have too much to lose. Please destroy this letter upon receiving it. As always, I am at your service. Sincerely... Vladimir. Well, it looks like the doctor did not destroy this letter. And they both agree that they don't like the they don't like the judge, but can't get on the judge's bad side. And of course, we have plenty of reason to not like the judge. Considering he uh sentenced us to death for the murder of our daughter, which we apparently did not do. I'll take our word for it that we did not do it. I have no reason not to believe ourselves. Clicking on everything. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. What about these over here? Nope. Alright, what do we got here? A telescope? I'm looking at something. Is that like outside on the ground? It doesn't really look like anything, does it? I'm clicking all over the place. Look at all these books I'm clicking on that are not doing anything. Nothing. Not a single thing. So it does seem like the only thing I can click on is this. Which brings me to this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's it's kind of a dead end now, because there's nowhere else to go here. This, all the, Doing all this just brought us to this. Which is a bit unfortunate. A bit disappointing. Uh, I guess we're going to go back now. And there was nothing to do here. Just one more go, one more go around with the cursor to see if there was anything that I should be clicking on, but I, that I did not. We got these notes. I don't know if the notes really help us. No, I guess that's it. All right, go through this door. So I guess let's remember where the library is. In case we need to use that telescope. We didn't need to use it now, but I assume at some point it'll be important. So even though there were a few doors on that hallway, down those stairs, uh, that library was really the only thing that we we did. Really wasn't anything else, was there? Not really. Locked. Hmm. Ah. Locked. So many passageways that kind of lead uh, nowhere in particular. Locked. So it sounds like we're thinking all right, but from what the doctor said, it sounds like we can't actually talk. I guess for whatever reason... Uh, we're incapable of speech at this time. Maybe that'll change as time goes on. Ah, uh, what's this? 
Well, it's another one of these. I, I'm sure I'll need to remember what all these things are at some point. But I guess we have not encountered whatever puzzle that might be. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. No? Nothing here. I guess the only thing that's in here is just this, uh, this plate. I don't think there's anything else. Alright, and this is where we came in. So I'm gonna, let's turn around and go the other way. So let's head to the right. Why are there so many locked doors? Are we actually going to open these doors at some point? Or are they just there for the ambiance? Will there be a part where all these rooms become accessible to us, or do the rooms not actually exist? Because I'm thinking maybe they don't actually exist. I'm kind of thinking that. It's been a little while since we started. Let me, uh, yeah, okay. We can save a game. There we go. Um, Franco one. Let's call it that. All right. Game saved. Um, let's take a little bit of a break. Be back in in a few minutes with more Frankenstein as we try to do do something. Our our objective is a little vague at this point. All right, back to Frank. So we're looking around this castle with vague goals. It seems like our basic idea is that okay, that was this one. Is that we want to perform our own experiments on energy L to find out if it's real and thus are we actually alive or are we really dead? I don't know why we need to do this. I mean, it's a, it seems like we're walking around, we're thinking. I, I don't see how uh, it could be doubted that we're actually alive. But our character is seems unsure. Seems unsure. So we're doing we're we're doing this. I, again, I don't know how necessary it is to do this, but we're doing it. Also, the doc really has not told us if he wants us to do anything ourselves. He brought us to life, and then he just sort of uh, I don't know forgot about us, and just went off and just sort of sat there doing something. Okay, I guess that door just goes back out to here. So the dock really doesn't seem to care a whole lot about we're up, what we're up to, I suppose. But for whatever reason, uh, we need to perform our own experiments on Energy L. Okay, we've already been... I think I've been to all these rooms already. We need to perform our own experiments, and then maybe also uh, clear our name. Because, you know, we were convicted of murder and all that, and we don't like that. We could also go outside. We've been outside before. Oh, no, no, this is a different room. Leftovers. I'm starving. A dining room. Well, it's not much here. Dead tissue. Of course. Perhaps I could resurrect the tissue of the turkey lake. What, really? No, I don't want to do that. I have no way to carry it. <laughs> if only I had some way of carrying this turkey leg with me out of this room. But alas, this task... 
is beyond my simple capabilities. If only. If only. But of course, there is no possible way we could do this. It would require some Herculean miracle to be able to do such a thing. Oh? Yes? Hello? Oh, there you are. Dead tissue. The meal was quite good. Too bad you missed it. Eat what's left. Uh, thanks? You still here? No, you're leaving. You're leaving. It's just that you had to get off screen before we could play the sound effects of you leaving the room. Okay. Man, that sounds kind of sad if when you look at a meal, the only thing you think of, of it as a... Uh, is of dead tissue. That's just how you look at the world. It's how you see everything. Oh, a bag. We have a bag of holding. This will certainly come in handy. Yes, this will suit my purposes quite nicely. The doctor thinks he controls me, but no, no longer. Not with my bag. I am frustrated at being unable to find an antibacterial thread. This thick black line infection is proving to be a greater problem than bringing back the dead. Day one, day two, day three. I have removed several large pieces of the black infection, which oddly enough seems to grow through the tissue like fuzzy spaghetti. It almost acts like a parasitic worm, though I am sure it is a bacterium of some kind. Mm, fuzzy spaghetti could go for some of that. Anything else in there? Looks like that there's a second page, but maybe not. Like, a lot of these papers have, like, another paper behind them, but I guess not. Alright, we got a bag. Let us see if we can put things in the bag. Like this. In... Yes. It is now in my bag. Now, maybe I can resurrect this cooked turkey leg. Why am I doing that? I'm just kind of unclear about a lot of what our guy is doing. I don't think there's anything else around. Is this a different hallway? It might be. Locked. Uh, it's back here. All right. So, of course, we've been here. I guess I just walked by the entrance. I guess when we were here, I just walked by the um, the entrance to the dining room. I suppose it must have been what happened. So we have a bag. What else could we put inside the bag? We can also go outside. So the only thing that we found outside, I think, was... Oh, I didn't see this before. It's a carving of perhaps a hedge maze. Is there a hedge maze for us to go inside? And perhaps use this as the map? Maybe. Who can say? No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to look at the trees. Yeah, we found this, and, like, there's that up there, right? That window. And so we wanted to try to get up there, but to do that, we have to use a rope. But to use the rope, I need to find something to put on the rope. And I haven't found that yet. Is there anything else I can look at from here? It seems like I just go in a circle. I can't go straight ahead. No, not that way. Not, not that, no. There. So it looks like there's a main gate. Can I get to that main gate? It's like right there. 
I'm like standing right next to it. It's not. It's not letting me look at the main gate. So I guess not. Okay. So then there's this. Number three. All right. We found four of these plates so far. But what do they mean? I don't know. Okay, we can go up here now. What's this? Well, you can't do anything with it, I guess. I mean, if I could take this with me, this is something I could put on a rope, maybe, to use like a, as a grappling hook. If I could do such a thing. But it does not seem like I am. What do we got here? A fountain? Can I click on anything here? Perhaps not. I, I guess, uh, maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. Maybe there's nothing for us right here. Well, there is this. Locked. I cannot enter the hedge maze. What about the other side? Okay, at least there is an entrance to this hedge maze. Am I in hell? Sorry? Or have I been given a second chance? I must know the truth. Well, okay, that was just a little musing by our guy out of nowhere. I mean, I would not just, like, go far to say that we're in hell just yet. The game's not that bad. Locked. No, we still cannot, we cannot enter this hedge maze yet. I guess eventually we will, but I wonder what the purpose of that is. If we were able to navigate the hedge maze, is there something we could find? Can I look look in that? I can look in that. Okay, so that's the actual... Uh, that's not like a carving of the hedge maze. That's the actual maze. So if I went in there, just kind of looks like we have this path that goes out here, and then I guess in here, and then... You get to the center, and I guess the question is, what is the goal here supposed to be? Like, all these other corners, I guess, meet up, the, but you get to, like, an actual ending if you go here. So maybe there's something there. But I guess those doors are locked for the time being. Doesn't seem like I can look in the other one, though. Like this one right here. Doesn't let, it's not letting me do that. Can I look at anything else? It looks like, like there's something hanging from this tree, but it's not letting me look at the tree. Alright, so there's that. Anyway, we have a bag. We must use our bag. We must take advantage of the bagness that we now possess. What could we possibly put in this bag? Anything here to put in the bag? I don't think there is. No, that's not what I want. This place seems safe from the prying eyes of that sick doctor. The I must get a lifestone crystal to conduct my own experiment. <laughs> You're going to put our turkey leg here. All right. So we don't have to carry it with us. Okay. And he's confirming we should take that crystal and bring it here. All right. It seems like we're, like, really down on the doctor, calling him mad and all that, but he seems like he's been pretty nice to us so far. I mean, yes, we are a zombie, basically, but at least we have a second chance at things. We should probably give the doc a chance. All right. There's the doc, and he suspects nothing. But he does not know we have a bag with us, and with our bag, we can take this crystal and put it- He will not let me leave with his crystal. There must be another way. But yeah, in, in the bag! I don't want to leave this in the bag. What? Why? I don't want to leave this in the bag. Why are we not putting it in the bag? Fine, we're not putting it in the bag. Why am I- I don't know why I'm not putting this in the bag. I have a perfectly good bag here. Can I put this in the bag? I don't want to leave this in the bag. Why do I- why do I even have a bag? 
if I'm not going to put things in my bag. He says he's not going to let us take it. Does that mean the doctor has to go do something else? But how would we get the doctor to do something else? What could we do that might make him leave or get distracted by something? Can I use one of these on the other? Doesn't seem like it. Well, we know the turkey leg goes on that other table, and he did say that we need to get this and then leave. I should leave this here. We need to take this and get it to the other table so we can conduct our experiments. But he doesn't want to put it in his bag, even though we have this perfectly good bag here. And the reason that we can't take it is because the doctor is here. Now, the doctor is sitting right next to this. I wonder if we could find where this goes and, like, bring up a dumb waiter that might distract him. Mm, possibly. Because he's sitting right next to that, isn't he? It looks like he is. So then maybe he says, oh, what's this? And then we take it. What's the point of putting this on the table, by the way? Like, we found it here, right? Doctor, I, I got your thing. It's right here. I don't want to leave this in the bag. Never, never, ever touch that again. Do you understand? He does not like us touching his crystal. So, we, it's, that's where it goes. We could also put it on the table. We can take this wire. Perhaps I should leave this here. But we cannot take the wire off the screen. Doesn't seem like I can use it to interact with anything on here. Can't put it in my bag. Hmm. Oh, I haven't actually uh, seen this. Well, these aren't doing anything, but, I mean, there's nothing on the table. There's no experiments happening here. Hmm. I went up this tower, and you can use the, the kite up there, but I don't think I need to use that now, because we're not doing anything. How do we distract him? How do we get him to not realize we're taking the crystal? I mean... We could just put it in the bag, but we're saying that we just cannot do this. The We cannot put it in the bag, which I don't agree with, but uh, our character is saying that we cannot do this. Fine. We need to find something else that we can use to distract the doctor then. And of course, we have looked all around here. So I thought I was making some kind of progress. I thought I was going to go that go get that life crystal, put it in my bag, and then we could come back to our private little table. And now we're still here. Let's go down here. Our private little table, which is right here. Um, and then try to resurrect this turkey leg. I'm not really sure why we are resurrecting the turkey leg. Well, I mean, we're experimenting with energy L. For reasons. To prove to ourselves about whether or not we are still alive. I keep ha I keep repeating this because I'm just just getting the plot in my head. You know, I'm just re reinforcing it just to make sure that I understand the plot. But have we seen anything else that we could put in this bag? Anything that we could take with us? I'm just trying to think about the rooms that we've been in and the things we've seen. 
don't remember seeing anything that we could use with this bag. Anything that we could put in there. Like, there's a secret passage right here. Remember this? There's that. I guess we could take a look in this again. Right, so there's that, and... Looks like there are two ways to go. There's left and right, so we're going to go left. We're going to go up. Only one way to go here. Right, and then the only way to go is left. And then right. And then right. And then that's a dead end. That's right, I remember that. And there was nothing else here? No, there wasn't. So then we went back. Let me just check something here. Okay, this is the passage. Then if we went to the right, there was only one way to go. So we go left. And right. And right. And how do we how are we making so many right turns? Is that like just like a going in a circle? And then right. And then there's a left. Okay, only a left turn. Oh, and the steam. I forgot about the steam. That's right. Oh no, the steam is burning us. If only we had something we could use to uh fix that. But I do not. So, that's right. Now I'm remembering that. We couldn't use either of these passages because both of them... Actually, there's like a, a metal plate there. I don't suppose that's anything. What about this? Oh, no, there's something here. What is this? I don't know what this is. What is it telling me? It might be a map. I don't know what it's a map of. Of Is there a starting point or an end point? What is the X? Hmm. Maybe I would, I would need to... Hmm, I don't know what I would need to. Perhaps... I need to identify a hallway that looks like this. Like maybe somewhere there's a hallway that has this sort of configuration and maybe I should be paying attention to the corner with the X on it and then maybe there's something there. I don't suppose I can click on anything here. No. So, hmm. Is there some point in this castle that looks like this. And what do the circles represent? Do the circles represent doors? Possibly those are doors? But then one one thing that's kind of a problem is that like most of the hallways are like they're like 90 degrees like this, 90 degrees like that. But here when we get down here, these are 45 degree angles. Well, I mean, this is right here. Like, this is 90, but then we have 45 here, and that's usually not how these hallways have gone. So, hmm, I'm probably going to have to draw this. Probably just going to have to draw that down. So the problem that we have now is that every, no, no matter where we go in this particular secret passage, uh, we can't do anything. Like, they both lead to dead ends, so there was no need to actually go in here. Except we did find that possible map. But what... What would that represent, do you think? Is there anything here that... Any of these hallways that looks like that? I don't think that this hallway looks like it. No. I 
I can't. I don't think any of the hallways we've seen really looks like that thing that we saw. And even even if we found it, what would that mean? That we should just look at where the X is and just click everywhere until we find something? Is that what it would mean? I've been kind of like clicking everywhere as it is. Right, and there's the other secret passage behind that. But we don't want to do that right now. Well, I'm becoming fairly familiar with this castle, even though we're not really finding much of anything. Right, the dining room. But the only thing we found in the dining room was a My god, is that what I think it is? What do you think it is? What, what do you think it is? I guess he's going to leave me hanging. He's not going to tell me what he thinks that is. I don't think there's anything else on the table we can look at. And there was nothing else here. Does the castle really need to have this many corridors? I don't know. So is there anything I'm just not- I'm just passing by but not clicking on? Like a suit of armor or something. I can't click on that. So, we have a bag, <laughs> and we know what we want to do is put things, find things that we can put in this bag. We know we need to do that. That's like the closest thing so far that we've made uh, through, pro made in, in terms of progress, something we could call progress is that we found our bag, which means that we now actually have an inventory. But we haven't really been finding a whole lot we can put in it. I thought we were making some kind of headway uh, by putting the life stone in it, but no, we're not going to do that. We can go down here. So I think that this passageway just ended up leading to the library. Oh, no, that's that led back here. Oh, when we left, we were facing the door? Okay, sure. Like, there was, like, some... There's, like, this... That leads sort of to a dead end, but clicking on it doesn't seem to do anything. And that led to here. And we saw these notes. Can't do anything with the globe or click on this vent or really click on anything else. It seemed like the only thing we could do was interact with this. And then we can, like, look outside. This looks like dirt and, like, maybe some hedge maze next to it. If I'm supposed to be able to notice anything else, then I don't know. I wasn't able to pick up anything else.
So... Our current objective seems to be... That we need to be able to find a way to distract the doctor. So we can take his stone. So we can bring it to our hidey hole. And conduct an experiment on the turkey leg to bring turkey leg back to life. How do we distract the doctor? I was thinking maybe we could find the other end of that dumbwaiter, but I have not found it. I have not found the other end of it, so I don't know how to how to be bring something up on that. We put the turkey leg down on our secret table. I assume that's where it should stay. So many doors lead to so many different hallways. We did find that one potential map, but was it a map? Is that something that could lead us to somewhere? I don't know. And I feel like at this point we've now gone through all of these hallways and doors a few times. And I don't think I'm really finding anything new as I do this. Locked. You know, it just, just occurred to me that the doctor did not express any kind of surprise when he f met us in the dining room. It seems like he should have been surprised since he didn't know that we were able to leave the place that we were in. Because we, you know, remember how we did that? We got that rope and attached it to a, st a stone bird and then and then rappelled down the side of the tower to get into the window, the, the barred window where the bars had been busted out. You'd think you would have been surprised about that. He wasn't. Okay, that just leads back out here. Hmm. We've also found those metal plates that say one through four with what look like planet, con planet uh, orbits on them. We also found those. But what can we actually do with any of these is not clear. Of course, if we want to go back, we can always just go back through here. This leads back up to the doctor. We can't go down any any further. It didn't seem like there was anything else around here. No, we could always just like flip this switch and just sort of leave it like that, I guess. I doubt I don't know if that'll do anything, but we could always try that. We can't go down here because the stairs are busted. We can always, like, go into the lab here and maybe, like, flip switches around. Oh. Let's flip these around. Maybe that'll annoy him. There's this. We could, like, do this. But those go back to their normal positions. We could take the ladder upstairs. And, like, use the kite. Does this look any different? No, that's the same as it was before. Anything else around here? Up on... No, I don't think there is. We can go back down. Can we flip any switches now? Would that do anything different? It seems unlikely.
I don't think we can interact with the table of elements. So, as you know, we can put that down here. It says you can hook up a battery to the stone. We haven't really found a battery or anything. This could be useful later. Oh, I actually put that in my bag. Yeah, there it is. And there was this. Can I put this in my bag? Yeah, okay. I can I can collect the notes, I guess. Well, we didn't see this. Severe infection begins in the tissue surrounding the stitches where the two body parts have been joined together. Perhaps I can find a thread with antibacterial properties. Small black lines appear on the swollen red tissue. The bacterium rapidly spreads throughout the subject's flesh, causing the veins to become completely blocked with coagulated, infected blood. I am sometimes able to lengthen the life of the test subjects with injections of penicillin. So what did you do here? Black line infection starts where tubing penetrates subjects, urine removal, blood flow. And he's sewing some rats together for reasons. I guess we all... Oh, I didn't see any of this stuff. Hold on. The subject died this morning, despite my best attempts to revive it. I cannot be sure of the exact cause of death, but once again, the tissue was covered with white, blistering lesions. I'm therefore lead led to believe that the lesions are not a side effect of the infection, but rather the cause. The effects on a child are not the same as that of an adult. Young, fresh skin tissue is much more resilient and better suited to holding the stitches, thereby avoiding the annoying problem of flesh tearing apart. We need child flesh. It's the only it's the only solution. And we have this. Also, complete sets of heart and lungs must be functioning in order to undertake any sort of experiment. I always say that. Functioning heart and lungs needed no matter what you're doing. Oh, there's something here. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, what are we doing with this? Can I in combine these? Doesn't seem like it. Well, I think I've used the wa I've used the wire or string or whatever this is. I can now not pick them up. All right, so I think whatever it is I need to do here, I took like a cloth and like tied it to this and then tied it to the the crystal. Why am I doing that? Okay, I can use more and more and more. Like a parachute. Yeah, is that what I'm doing? Is this really the best solution? It's caught an updraft. It's going to go over the wall. Why did I do- why did I just put it in my bag? I- I find the solution to that questionable. I am going to say maybe the solution to that puzzle in this adventure game was not the most logical. Clearly, my bag was not good enough. I had to make a small parachute for the crystal and throw it out the window. This was the only way. The only possible solution. Um, where did it go, though? Should I go outside and look for it, maybe?
Hello? Crystal? Where did you go? That lifestone crystal is at the top of this tower. There must be a way to the top. Okay. Am I going to climb these? Okay, I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm glad there just happen to be stones every so often that stick out so we can do this. Otherwise, it would be a problem. Man, considering that we just got better from being dead, we are pretty agile. Hmm. No, can't go any further. Did I choose the wrong stones? Are there other stones I need to choose? What if I choose this one? Does that take me to different stones? There we go. I got it. In the bag you go. Finally. It has been bagged. You know, I just want to save now that we've done that. Remember, it's Windows 3.1. Eight character file limits. File, uh, file name limits. All right. Got our beautiful stone. Now, let us go back to our little hidey hole and hook up the stone to our turkey leg is what we're doing. All right, here we go. Can I do anything now? With this crystal, I can create life. Um, apparently, we want to create this turkey leg. We need a power source, though, right? Yeah, we need a 16-volt battery. But we have not found a battery. Have we seen a room in which we might have seen a battery, because I don't remember seeing a battery just lying around. Hmm. Where might we find one? So we know that the doctor used a battery with the stone to bring, bring rats back to life. Is like there, can we find any experiments like that in his lab? Oh, now that we can take notes, can I like bring these with me? Oh, I didn't actually see this. Perhaps by using this refinement of his vacuum tube, I could generate the necessary amounts of energy L with much lower amounts of electricity. I find his claim to see through skin and tissue far-fetched, yet these days anything seems possible. My own work is re in regenerating tissue, for instance. So can I, like, take... No, maybe not. Doesn't seem like it's letting me pick that up. Okay, but there are other uh, pages to these notes that I've not been seeing, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Just to make sure. There was nothing else here, right? No, I don't think there was. What about on... Is there anything I can take from here? No, I don't think so. Alright, back up to the lab. So does he have, like, a battery lying around? Oh, there is, like, this passage, right? And then, like, there was nothing... We, we couldn't do anything with it. There's nothing to do here. So I don't know what that's about. Couldn't do anything with the skeleton. There's the dumb waiter. Does he have a battery just lying around that we could take? I mean, I've looked at everything a few times, so I don't know about that. 
But maybe there's like things on these shelves I could click on. Of course, there's these. Can't take those. Yeah, if I click on anywhere on that, it just slides that. Can I take any wires with me, by the way? I don't want to leave this in the bag. No, we cannot. So forget about it. Oh, he's gone, actually. He's no longer there. So now that we've successfully taken the stone, uh, Dr. Frankenstein is no longer sitting right there. He's gone off to do something else. Well, I'm looking around, I'm not seeing any batteries, so un unfortunately. So it, whatever, wherever this battery is, I don't think we're going to find it in the lab. But we've looked all around, and I have not seen a battery anywhere else. But I wonder, since now that we've done that, could the doctor be somewhere else now? Like, if I keep looking around, will I, will I run into him somewhere? Maybe I should just take a quick look around and see if he shows up anywhere. Nothing new here, I guess. Alright, so where should we look? We could look anywhere, really. We've seen a number of rooms and hallways, and really, if we're looking to see if he's hanging around anywhere, it could be any of these places. We still have not found what we need to use the rope to get up there. Do not see him around. Unless he's in the hedge maze. But I kind of doubt he's in the hedge maze. Doc, are you here? I don't see him. I don't suppose these doors have been opened. That's closed. That is also closed over there. Actually, let me take a look up here. That, when I looked at the map... Oh, yeah, there was, like, another door right there. When I looked at the map of that side of the hedge maze, it did look like that there was another entrance. But this is probably locked. Let's see. Locked. Yeah, that's locked. Hmm. Well, that door's locked, I remember. I have a feeling that this game is going to be one of those kinds of games where it's going to be kind of padded out by not knowing where you should go at any one particular point in time. Like maybe a room that we've been in already is a room that we should go back to now, but we do not know which room that might be. 
And the only way to find it is maybe to just look in every room. Because the room that we might need to find, well, could potentially be anywhere. Any of the rooms that we've already been in maybe could be the room that we need to go to. Now, can I take, can I, was there anything more to this? No. Or that one. Anything new here? That looks exactly the same. I don't suppose there's a battery somewhere here. Just a lot of books that I can't click on. It looks like that there are some things here that could be of interest, but I'm not able to click on any of them. Well, unfortunately, it is getting a little late. I know time flies when, when you're playing Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster. Um, but maybe it is time that we need to say goodnight. We, at least we made some kind of progress. At least we were able to find, we were able to figure out how to get, how to get the crystal by making a tiny parachute for the crystal and throwing it out the window so it landed on top of a wall. And then we, um just climbed up the wall with our incredibly agile zombie body to get the crystal at the top of it, and then we were able to take it to our little experiment table that is away from Dr. Frankenstein's prying eyes. But we found that there's one thing that we don't have, and that's a battery. And we need to get that battery so we can hook it up to the crystal and then bring a turkey leg Back to life. Even though that was a cooked turkey leg, we're going to resurrect it. Um, for reasons. I get uh, may Because of, of this will help us understand energy L. And if we understand energy L, and maybe we can try to clear our name. To, to uh, clear our name about being our daughter's murderer. Is that something like that? It's kind of unclear. All I really need to know... Well, all I, all I know at this point is that maps are necessary. Maps will be needed. Um, but I guess we're going to continue on with this and see what kind of progress we can make in Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster starring Tim Curry. There really hasn't been enough Tim Curry, though. I do hope there is more Tim Curry as we continue on. We need the, the whether or not this game is going to be worth our time is going to is going to be directly relational to how much curry we get. I want that curry. So I'll see you next time for some more uh, Frankenstein action.